every seller should know about home prices. Hey, I'm Darren Dowling, team lead of the Dowling Group at Beyond Realty. So let's get into it. If you're trying to decide whether or not to sell your house, recent headlines about home prices may be top of mind. And if those stories have you wondering what that means for your home's value, here's what you really need to know. What's really happening with home prices? It's possible you've seen news stories mentioning a drop in home values or home price depreciation, but it's important to remember those headlines are designed to make a big impression in just a few words. But what headlines aren't always great at is painting the full picture. While home prices are down slightly month over month in some markets, it's also true that home values are up nationally on a year over year basis. This graph uses the latest data from SNB Case Schiller to help tell the story of what's actually happening in the housing market today. As the graph shows, it's true. Home price growth has moderated in recent months, shown in green as buyer demand has pulled back in response to higher mortgage rates. This is what the headlines are drawing attention to today. But what's important to notice is the bigger, longer term picture. While home price growth is moderating month over month, the percent of appreciation year over year is still well above the home price change we saw during the normal years in the market. The bars for January 2019 through mid 2020 show home price appreciation around three to four percent a year was more typical. But even the latest data for this year shows prices have still climbed by roughly 10 percent over last year. What does this mean for your home's equity? While you may not be able to capitalize on the 20% appreciation we saw in early 2022, in most markets, your home's value on average is up 10% over last year. And a 10% gain is still dramatic compared to a more normal level of appreciation of three to 4%. The big takeaway, don't let the headlines get in the way of your plans to sell. Over the last two years alone, you've likely gained substantial amount of equity in your home as home prices have climbed, even though home price moderation will vary by market moving forward. You can still use the boost of equity. You've got to help power a move forward. As Mark Fleming, chief economist at First American says, quote, potential home sellers gain significant amounts of equity over the pandemic. So even as affordability constrained by buyer demand spurs price declines in some markets, potential sellers are unlikely to lose all that they have gained. Ladies and gents, here's the bottom line. If you have questions about how much prices or how much home equity you have in your current house, let's get together so I can give you my expert opinion and advice. That's all we've got time on this episode. So as always, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. It means the world to me. We'll see you next week.